Good morning. Um, I'm Leila Kandem, Group Head of Climate Risk at HSBC. So as I was preparing for this event, I actually realized that today would mark the, the first year anniversary of the launch of GFENS, the, the Glasgow Financial Alliance for, for Net Zero. And the launch of GFENS last year, and of course COP26 later in November, last year as well, were for me two important signals that climate change was coming back to the fore after 2020 being dominated by the COVID-19 crisis. So now a quarter into 2022, it's interesting and I think important to reflect on the top five climate change trends that financial risk professionals should watch and get ahead of. So the first one, net zero targets. 2021 was the year of target setting and, and announcing of ambitious goals to reduce financed emissions for many financial institutions. Now the focus must be on execution, embedding into business as usual. And three priorities to achieve this, in my opinion, are training and raising awareness across first and second line teams, but also building tools to monitor and track performance and obviously engaging clients on their transition plans. Which leads me to my second point on transition plans. It's critical for firms to start engaging with clients on these plans. One, to identify commercial opportunities to support companies for the transition to net zero. And two, to better assess uh, counterparties' transition risk profile as part of the overall risk assessment and credit decision-making process. Again, here it's key to train and raise awareness to support first and second line teams, but also to use third party uh, specialist advisory for decision making on those more complex, more innovative technologies and business models. Then the third area is greenwashing risk. On one hand, we are seeing increasingly high expectations from stakeholders for transparency and honesty from businesses including from financial institutions on their green credentials. And this is happening in a landscape of multiple, fast evolving and sometimes complex green taxonomies and frameworks. On the other hand, financial institutions have an important role to play through increasing their volumes of green and transition financing and investment to help achieve net zero. So it's really important to put robust frameworks, processes, and controls in place to mitigate the risk of greenwashing and potential implications for reputational compliance and litigation risks. Then on regulatory expectations, after being the first regulator to outline expectations on climate risk management in SS319, so the supervisory statement issued in, in 2019 by the PRA, the PRA then announced last October, and actually it was also confirmed um, in the PRA's business plan published yesterday, that from the beginning of this year, the PRA's approach will now switch from assessing implementation of SS319 requirements to actively supervising firms against climate risk threats. It's also important to note though, that the, the PRA has stated that the end of 2021 should be seen as a checkpoint in terms of SS319 implementation, as opposed to being a full stop. So the PRA clearly expects firms to continually improve their approaches as our collective understanding of climate risk evolves. And I would encourage firms to make the best use of the existing and upcoming guides from the uh, Climate Financial Risk Forum, which is co-chaired by the PRA and the FCA. Then fifth and lastly, uh, on nature risk, as we are all aware, climate and nature are closely intertwined. So it wouldn't be right, I think, to finish without mentioning the importance of structuring risk approaches that look at climate and nature in, in an integrated way, starting to get more clarity on where climate and nature related risks and opportunities overlap where they don't and where solving one issue may harm the other. As with net zero, the transition to a nature positive world comes with commercial opportunities and it, it would be a risk in itself for financial institutions to not be well positioned to seize these opportunities. Thank you.